Hey guys, Scott with Tread Athletics. Uh, today we're going to be going through a little series to help with shoulder external rotation, uh, end range and control and mobility. So obviously as a thrower, you know, this is a crucial component of our throw when our arm is laying back this way, right? Our shoulder is going into massive external rotation it can be a very stressful position. First exercise or the first step in this series is again, just gonna be to mobilize the tissue uh, of our shoulder rotator muscles. I'm gonna use a lacrosse ball just against the wall here. And then I can also roll, right? Mainly east and west here. And then I'll continue rolling until that tissue is you know, feeling a little bit better. Now we're gonna hit a rotator cuff muscle that's a little bit kind of more inside the shoulder. This is our subscap. To release this, what I like to do is just a manual release using my thumb here on my opposite hand, keeping my thumb against my rib cage, and I can almost feel my shoulder blade on the back side of my body here. My thumb can touch my shoulder blade. So now I've got the muscle pinned, and I can go back and forth into internal and external rotation. So if we can release this muscle here, usually our range of motion going into external rotation is gonna get better almost immediately. So I've got this half foam roller, or you could just use a small pad or something against the wall, right about shoulder height, or maybe really elbow at about armpit height. I'm gonna drive up into the wall and press hard for about six seconds. And then I'm gonna come down to my full range of IR, right? I'm not gonna to try to force this where I'm coming away from the wall. I'm just gonna stay on the wall and go to, you know, my end range comfort here, I'm not trying to force it too far. And then I'll go back into an ER ISO and then IR reset. So for these prone ER liftoffs here, I'm using a half foam roller as like a pad under my elbow. Again, you could substitute any kind of small pad just to rest your elbow on. Uh, and I'm using a yoga block here that I'm gonna be trying to lift my arm off of. The key here with this exercise is you need to select, you know, the height of a box that's gonna be appropriate for your range of motion. You might only be able to get a little bit above this first box at first, that's perfectly fine. As we, you know, improve this attribute, we should be able to get further and further and further away from this box I wanna be able to add a box to start challenging myself. We wanna be able to layer in a little bit more strength on top of that. So using something like a small dumbbell and just doing some prone shoulder ER on the table here, try to hover my uh, elbow, you know, again, kind of armpit height, right? I'm not trying to force it up too high or force it back behind me too far, right? It's kind of trying to center in the shoulder joint. And then I'm gonna take myself up to my full range of ER and try to hold it for a second and then back down. Full range, back down. And again, you know, at first, you may only be able to get to about here. That's perfectly fine. But as you improve the range of motion, as you improve the end range control, as you improve the strength, you'll be able to get further and further and further with heavier weight. Shoulder external rotation is a crucial component of any throwing motion, right? And especially, you know, the higher levels of velocity that you're able to achieve, that external rotation is getting pushed to the limit, you know, every time you throw. Definitely try those exercises. Let us know what you think. Hopefully your shoulder's feeling a little bit better after this.